How do I deal with FOMO? Fear of missing out, F-O-M-O, -O, FOMO. Here's the funny thing, okay? Our brains want choice. We desire choice. We like options. Are you a maximizer? I am, which means, you know, when I go on Netflix trying to pick a movie for my wife and I to watch, like, I'm like basically like, stuck for an hour trying to like, you know, I, I open a new tab with Rotten Tomatoes. I open a new tab with YouTube trailers. Like I'm like trying to make sure that this two hours we're going to spend together on a Friday night is the most best quality time ever. So we have to have the most best quality movie ever. But here's the funny bit of research that I want to share with you today and it's going to get back to FOMO. Professor Daniel Gilbert at Harvard University is the author of a book called Stumbling on Happiness, okay? It's an incredible formative book in the world of positive psychology. He already found something called the unanticipated joy of being totally stuck. The unanticipated joy of being totally stuck. I actually wrote about it in the happiness equation, which you can see in the background. What does this mean? It means that, uh, you know, we want to go to the movie theater with the most movies playing. We want to go to the restaurant with the most types of steak. We want to go to a steakhouse, better have the most type, kind of steak, right? But actually, what he proved is that no, no, we're actually happier when we go to the movie theater with one movie playing. Not the multiplex, the like, uh, uniplex, or whatever it's called when it's just like got one, okay? Cineplex, uniplex, oneplex. We go to the movie theater with one movie playing. We're better at the steak restaurant that just has one good filet mignon because we aren't constantly evaluating our choice with all the infinite other options out there. So how do you eliminate FOMO? You reduce your ability to see all the other options. When you go out on a date with your boyfriend, you know what you do? You either delete the Instagram app off your phone or you leave your phone at home. That means when you're in the theater and you're watching the previews, you aren't like looking at someone else having a better night somewhere else. Oh, I really want to go to this party. Oh, it sucks because all my friends are at this birthday party and we're stuck here like watching some lame movie. No, no, you don't even see them and you will be happier with your choice afterwards. Reduce your ability to see the infinite other choices because there's always going to be millions of other things. But if you can get your brain to focus on the one you're doing, you will be happier with it as a result. What do you think? Does this work for you? Do you have challenges? Do you have other questions for me? Leave them in the comments below and I would love to read and respond to each one.